All right, we got a game. It's got some faster time settings than what I would have wanted, but that's all right. Oh, we gotta say hello. Gotta click on the little thing down here. Uh, Cause we're gonna play a special opening. We're going to play a non corner enclosure. Because it doesn't take the corner at all. In fact, our opponent can just live in there basically in Sente. So, ooh, and he's not, he's going to approach it. That's fair, that's fair. Uh, I think we'll just Kanuki for now, actually. So there's a little story with this. I used to play this a lot. Like, really when I was first starting to play Tournament Go, I would play this opening. Uh, and I really liked it just because my opponents really, it just made them use a lot of clock time. They didn't know what to do with it. It was just kind of unusual. And, uh, you know, it was fun. I liked playing something different compared to everyone else. And then I started taking some Go lessons, namely at the time, mainly from Yulin Yang, uh, seven non-professional, and he kind of just would destroy it. You know, he would just live in it whenever he wanted, right, and just take the outside, and he would just get everything. And so I kind of stopped playing it. But today, <clears throat> you know, we're going to play the non-corner enclosure because <laughs> it doesn't enclose the corner. I mean, technically does, but doesn't actually do it. So it's it's not really that good. Also, I have to decide here. I kind of want to play this one. Uh, I could play the old-fashioned one. Uh, let's play, let's play this one. Let's just lean. Um, I'm still assuming, like, like, in general, how this is supposed to go is white, or is supposed to be really relative, right? We are talking about go, after all. Is that white will invade, and black will just take the entire outside. But black, white's invasion is really easy, like, can live in Sente, kind of easy. Um, but if, if white does that invasion, black does get very thick. So... You know, there is a trade-off, there is an advantage to it. I don't really recommend it. It's definitely not meta, as the cool kids would say. Uh, this is totally going to get pincered right here if I do this. Mm, let's go this side. The same distance. Uh, yeah, totally off meta. <laughs> kind of included. We're just going to double approach. This seems fine. Give White a chance to choose. I will probably connect or uh, attack. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good for white. Uh, I haven't seen that move in a long time. This is this is uh, traditionally the move you play when you have, as white that is, you have stuff on both sides, can, can just hunker down and attack, not let black make any compromises. So cool. All right, let's jump out here. This is already a pretty exciting game. We've got, we've got a lot of action going on. Uh, is that strong enough to cover here? Probably not. I actually need to read. And also the timer settings a little bit faster than what I wanted. These silly Korean opponents always wanting all the, all the things. I feel like we'll just lean on here and see what white does. See if I get a giant wall. And if I get a giant wall in the middle, then, you know, I... <laughs> Can play a little more aggressively here. Or everywhere, really. Uh, can I even think about this one? This one's really greedy, right? Like, so greedy, greedy? Like, really greedy. I know how you guys like the greed, though. Alright, let's just connect here. This is, okay, he's gonna come in that way. That's pretty neat. Uh, what to do? Mm. Lean, get out. Lean, jump out. I'm just going to make this exchange. And then decide. <laughs> oh, okay. So white's going to come around and take a little bit of the center. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I could just sort of live. And force white to come out again. That feels okay. Feels okay. Because then I'll play another big move. Alright. Now I still have a cut in here, which is very important to remember when I'm minding all these groups. I don't I don't really want to be that attached to this stone is the problem. But I want it to work with this somehow. Like, this is kind of the natural move, but 
it's too not enough doesn't <laughs> doesn't connect back to the stone well enough oh man that's just a giant hole i could play something like this though this would be really ambitious don't think it's good enough all right let's just jump out sort of force white to split us here uh, this does make a nice follow-up in terms of shape where both white and black have long <laughs> groups just facing the inside of the board. We'll have a gold rush if this happens, but I, I would assume white's going to play here. And for me, I think that's fine. If I, if I get the, if he helps me settle this group, um, if I, well, actually I have to read it out a little bit to figure out what the timing's going to be like, but if I can settle this group in something, there's the move. He's going to play there. And I think we should play here. And, yep, okay. Uh, we don't have to be that greedy. This, of course, leaves a cut. A pretty big cut. Oh, man, my eye. What's going on, eye? I need you to work right now. Do I push up once? I think I do. I think it's fine. Because I'm going to leave this cut anyway, then... I don't really care. No. Oh. Weird. Can I just play here now? It just doesn't quite feel big enough. Like, yeah, is this not big enough, right? Uh, let's take an enclosure. Take a big point. Um, of course, this point is very big as well. Uh, White's group is solid, so it's not probably as big as... Like, it's still huge. Like, this is still a huge point. Um, but compared to just taking another enclosure, an actual enclosure, right? Because this was not an enclosure. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we got some options here. There's still a weakness here. Like, like I have a lot of weaknesses to exploit. This is the kind of thing where I want to, like, spend a lot of time, and I don't have a lot of time. It's a little bit of an overplay. I think we'll just we're just gonna cap it. And okay, we're gonna do the things. Neat. Now we'll come back here. Because our opponent was kind of aggressive about this. I could just play this one. This is very peaceful. I guess my opponent can always still, like, force something here, but... Um, I can always just cut the stone off. I, I have options. This is a little a little crazy. I'll just play there. If I do get to split these, then I really am going to look at this, this peep and very crude cut a little more seriously. All right, our opponent does not want to play nice. As it were. Uh, I do have this move to sort of cut white off. Um, I don't really have a reason to play it yet. This is very threatening. Like if I get if I get to play a tiger's mouth here, looks yeah, of course. Um, this still looks fine for black. Okay. Mm. Feels like good timing to just play over here. <laughs> Might be terrible timing because I'm surrounded, but again, I think I think I have enough eye space at this point. I have all this, all these friends down here to run to. Okay, let's jump out. I just want to keep his group pinned. Just threatened a little bit. I'm not sure where he's running to. So, I just, <laughs> actually, this is probably the better move to enclose the corner. I wonder, this probably leaves fewer shenanigans. Uh, okay, he's trying to kill me, but it's, he's doing it in super slow motion. 
okay. Maybe attaching was better. That was my first intuition. It's just felt a little bit... Oh, okay. I mean... Sure. This com coming... Like, this is a good shape point, for sure. But... I'm not... I don't really feel that threatened by it. Maybe I should be. Maybe that's my problem. Actually, he's actually what he really did is just help this shape over here. Fix that cut. Mm. Uh, yeah. This makes sense. How many eyes is this move worth? Okay. He's going to come in there first. Good for him. I'm just going to come on top. This is a little bit dangerous because if he makes me strong here, I have this push cut. Uh, okay, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a target. Like a bona fide, real-life target. Uh, White does have all the points in this game. <laughs> so we have to keep that as a consideration. But... Sure white is done here. Okay. I think we just take this immediately. All right, cut you in two. Oh, does that solve your problem? It kind of does. I think. This isn't... Like, intuitively, I want to play here and take away the liberty, but I can't really... Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's got to be good. Oh, wow. So he's saying he has two eyes here. Very interesting. I'm gonna. I. I hmm. This is a bad exchange. All right. Let's let's think about this. Let's let's drink some tea. What's my clock say? A minute thirty-eight. Way too fast of a time. <laughs> this this is terrible. All right, let's just go. Let's do it. Uh huh. I don't want to take Gote yet. Actually, he actually still has problems with this group, too. This is not at all a safe group, even though he played an extra move here. We have countermeasures. Uh huh? Just gonna play there. You do not have two eyes. I want, I want you to be aware of that. Although we do have this weird cut. Is that a really... It is a weird cut. <laughs> I don't think it works. Hmm. All right, I'm sounding like an insane person. That's that's what's going on here. Oh, you can't do it that way, like, at all, right? Oh, you're going to cut that way. I see. Uh, okay. Does that even work, though? <laughs> no, right? It's still a net? Still a net. Kind of. Yeah, definitely. No, not definitely, because that's Atari. Okay. Still sounded like an insane person. So this is just a capturing race. I got myself into a capturing race. All right. That didn't take long. This isn't even... Oh, he's 
gonna start a capturing race over here? All right, we can exchange this. This is a little difficult. Uh huh. Can I play this way? I don't really need liberties, especially if I play a move like this. All right, this just solves everything. Uh, I mean, I do need liberties, but, like, I have enough, I think. All right, let's just play that and finish it. Okay. Um, which one first? I guess that one. Overtime countdown has begun. Maybe I should have been more aggressive towards this thing. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm getting, giving him too much entitlement down here. <laughs> and by doing so, I'm keeping him in the game. I'll just play there. Okay. We'll ask. He can connect under, but then he gets cut again. We know how that went the last time he tried this. Okay, he's... Looking like he wants to do that. He's really going to start a capturing race. Okay. So, no eyes for him. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Uh, what's the capturing race count at? <laughs> Looks like I have four. One, two, three, four. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, uh, three. Actually, I really only have three. Oh, is this co? Oh, did I play it wrong? Uh, not co. I just play here, right? All done. Very good. Two, one, okay. Did it. We killed you. Now what? He did get that corner. All right, that's pretty big now. I don't really want to get attacked there. I'd really love to play this no. way, but it's fine. We're just going to play this way. Hmm. This this feels like me. I eight seven. All right, I guess this way is probably better. Okay, that's fine. We just gotta live, and I think we have enough. He doesn't have actually. This was twenty. He did find twenty points down that way. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Let's exchange that first so we stay, keep everybody connected. Um, is this better? Nine, eight, seven. I feel like there's a more six, violent way to do five, this. Four. There's got to be a more violent way. Okay. Big end game. Really big. Uh just nine, eight, seven. This one? Force him to play this elephant eye peep again? Oh my god. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> I guess we can play there. Or maybe, actually, that might be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I still have a peep here. Oh, okay. The more interesting one is this clamp, I think. 
Or is this an interesting one? <laughs> Seems pretty interesting. I don't think this does anything. I think he's just... Oh, it does do something. Yeah, <laughs> totally does something. <laughs> but I have this, so... Feels fine, right? Ah, okay, you figured it out. I might be able to kill those two stones now. What dread? All right, we're alive. I should have, yeah, could I thought about that more? Is there a way to make two, an eye in here? Yeah, just here, right? I should have just played there. He he takes the corner points, but I, I keep the two stones. Okay. Uh, that's pretty big. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, uh, two. That's a little replay. This was very greedy. <laughs> oh, okay. He says no, not greedy. Totally legit. I go great. You're right, thank you. That was a legitimate move. I think you should have just cut. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's take this peep. Mm -hmm. This one or this one? Nine. Let's play there. Mm. Oh, he's fishing. He's fishing real hard. This is a big move down here. Mm. Can we just play it? Nine. Eight. Seven. So six, there's a cut five. problem. We just play. It's fine. It's fine. Is this, is this a threat? Like, really? I don't. Or is he just. Nine. Eight. Seven. Let's play there. Kind of more. That's more of a time suji than anything else. Let's just play here. Okay. Let's keep everybody connected, and I think we're fine. I think we'll be fine after Nine, this. This eight, is a little bit seven, dangerous for him. Six. So let's play one move to make sure. And I'd, I'd love an opportunity just to count the score. Like, that that would make me very happy right now. I can just play here. Nine. Eight. Take his corner. All right, white points. Uh, let's assume he gets those for one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eight. Nine, eight. Yeah, it's like it caps out at like forty-five points after Comey, and that's giving him some pretty generous endgame. Uh, five, ten, twenty. So this is a like a twenty-five point group by itself. Uh, puts it at 30, 40, 45. Nine, I mean, it's still close. Seven, six, still five. pretty close. So you're going to have to live in Co. That would be so sad. Oh, he has this move. He has this move. Mm. Do this nifty little poke. Just nifty little pokes. Oh, wow. That's a cool connection, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, but it threatens two eyes. Okay, so when I play this, he, he can threaten two eyes either way. All right, so it looks Nine, like he's fine. Eight, seven, six, I think everything five, is fine. Four, three, two. So let's just play up there. Uh, where else we got big moves? This is still big, even though I should have played a long time ago. This is big. Let's just play this out, because this is actually... It reduces him to nothing if he... Yep. And now I just connect here. Uh, 
I get to save that stone. He has to either squirm around here, he's gonna squirm. Okay. Yeah, actually, that's. I should probably cut that off first, and then he has no choice. Because that moves big for me, too. Because it does secure all of my stones. Nine. Eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. seven, six, five, four, three. Yeah, I'll play there. Make sure we have an eye in there. He's gonna stay connected. I want to play. He can potentially take eyes, so this is needed at this point. Okay. All right. Looks like we got ourselves a one game. That's big. I wanted it. I really wanted it. Everything's safe. That's like six points. Uh, yeah, that's big. Yep, he found it. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Yeah, right. That doesn't work. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I did not get to save the stones. Be a little bit careful just to make sure I watch liberties uh, so it doesn't turn into Seki. All right, my corner not enclosure. You guys can see what I got from it. Nothing. Like, it was... I ended up with these four points. But I'm going to contend that it just threw my opponent off his game enough to be very scared about the center, and he played multiple stones over here to make sure he didn't die. Because <laughs> he was that scared. Uh, that's... fine. Is this better? Nine. Eight. This is better. Um, so I got, a, like, essentially a couple free moves because he kept trying to save this group all fancy-like. And meanwhile, that one died. So... Yeah, just block. Now I should play here, maybe? I'm not, actually, I'm not... Uh, yeah, it seems fine. This move... Yep, yeah, okay. There's that one. Oh, neat. Hmm. Be, 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 be. Nine, hmm. eight, seven. I had not six, thought of that. Five. That's pretty good. Oh no, I just I can always just block and then attach or do that, right? This is I should not be fighting Co. This is how I lose the game. <laughs> like I'm up by a little bit. Everything's great. Uh is this a point? Not really. So just connect. Alright, Co. Here we go. Overtime we can, we can just countdown has begun. Not play his game. That sounds great. Uh, he does have this point later on if I connect this way, and if I connect this way, he has this, uh... Nine, actually, that's fine. Eight. Okay, just connect this way. <laughs> Being insane. Alright, this Hane is really nice, though. This Hane kills this stone. Ooh. Should I kill that stone or save that stone? Nine, eight, seven. I think I should save it. <laughs> All right, other big end game. This is always going to be a point. I misspoke earlier. That, that's always a point. Regardless of how I connect over here. Oh, this is being crazy. All right. Yeah, all the pushes. All the little pushes. Oh, that's big. Uh, okay, we can play this now. Oh, my robot blinds are closing. <laughs> do, do, do. 
All right, do I have to be careful here a little bit? So we can make that a false eye. Nine, eight, and that is seven, undesirable. Six, five, four, three. So let's just play there. I um, still want to play this one. <laughs> I should just take these pushes. Ah, uh, bummer. Hmm. Not actually sure if that was a good move. That was just total intuition. I believed. Uh, still not a move. How about that one? Is that one a move? Nine. Hmm? Hmm. 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 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Hey, I think that's the best way to play it. All right, everybody's connected. Hooray, except for this one. That's kind of interesting, actually. <laughs> Everything is alive locally, so it doesn't do anything. But oh man, does it look like it. Let's make sure this doesn't actually do anything. Like, I, I can cut this off. But again doesn't do anything. So it's just points. Um, Nine, eight, seven, six, all right, that's five, actually maybe not a liberty four, problem that I thought. Three, two. Let's play there. Okay. Hmm. Nine, eight. Mm. All right, not a secchi. <laughs> That's a point. That's a Nine, reverse sente point. Eight, Looks pretty good. Seven, six, five. So let's grab it. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a point. We talked about that one. Uh, is it, it might even be kind of sente-ish now, actually. Nine, eight. Which is kind of awful. Oh, well, I wanted that one too. Do, 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 do. This is never a point. That's great. Big. Um, not much left. Should totally take that one, though. Nine, so it looks like one. Eight. That's a point. Oh, I can't never play it. Never mind. Oh, but it wins me that half point. This was like half a point. Uh, this is a point. This is actually like the best point on the board. Nine. Oh eight, man, how did I miss this? Seven, six, five. Best point on the board, even. Mm, do, do, do. Our non enclosure enclosure. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two. Yeah, so I'm sad this game didn't quite feature our non-enclosure corner as much. It, it was really just more of a, a looming threat off in the distance. Um, 
we just took an outside wall and it was just more of a wall. So the corner itself wasn't that exciting. Um, but maybe we'll play, well, maybe we'll do another one of these uh, non-enclosure corner games. <clears throat> I should leave that for co-threats, but it's fine. Let's make these cuts here. And it's a co. This is never a point. Okay, I should just take co. Nine, right, right, right. Eight, seven. So we'll have to connect that one. Uh, Nine. Let's see. Sure. What? Oh man. Um, really? This is tragic. Oh. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, man. So. I can play this one and apparently fight a co for like a million points to try to win the game. <laughs> and I do mean like I need a million points kind of thing. <laughs> I don't have a million point co here. All right. Um... Oh, wow. This... Now I really wish I... Hmm. Let's take that one, I get that one, I get that one, he gets that one, he gets that one, I can't win this co. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, he's gonna get two more there. Yep. Oh, but I get one there. That's neat. All these codes. All right, it's the last one there. He gets at least two there, it would seem. Oh. There's two, he gets a third one there. This can't be done. Cannot be done. No threat. Like this threatens to make a threat, so that's seven, cool. Six, five. <laughs> oh, teardrop. <laughs> tragic. So tragic. Go one here. Yeah, that was not big enough. Not big enough. I was overconfident in the size of that kill. All right. Oh man, non-enclosure corner did not work. Uh, what a bummer. Let's see if we open up this game. Let's open up the game. This is, how do I see myself? <laughs> Games, that's the one. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. Rough, rough, so sad. So, you know, all through here, like I have nothing, right? I just have influence. Um, so maybe, maybe it's more correct to do something like this. Gotta use that influence. Gotta find, at least try to find a way to use it. Yeah, probably, probably, oops, missed opportunity there. This was too passive. This was like, this is, this is big, but this is too good for white. Um, also not having ever taken advantage of any of these cuts, nor this weakness down here. Um, it was pretty bad. Pretty, pretty unfortunate. 
Uh, let's here go forward a few more moves. Let's say right here. Right? Like this doesn't really work. <laughs> right? Whoops, wrong move. Um, but you know, I can I have I have things to aim at in here, right? So especially here if I have this and um, like none of that works directly, right? But the point is I can play here and I can play something like here. <laughs> and it's difficult, very difficult for white uh, to proceed. So I just, had, I just had a lot of missed opportunities like this. <laughs> what a fun sequence. <laughs> oh man, that's never gonna happen, but fun. <laughs> So really fun. So man, yep. Mm, too too. I don't know. I need to be. I need to be more aggressive here. I was just trying to make my outside thickness worth something here, and I thought, uh, cap it. This is too gentle. Too gentle. Like this is all fine for me, right? Like it's not. It's not that it's bad. It's just that in order to win games, you have to take advantage of weaknesses, and especially especially when I'm doing like commentary while I'm playing, right? I just don't take enough time to read out weaknesses and find killer points. And it's really, it's really tragic. <laughs> I don't, I, I, I've been thinking, I'll, hey, I'll be playing more live games like this and I'll get good at that, right? Like, and I just haven't gotten good at it yet. <laughs> um, it's probably actually going to require me just to not think about talking so much, but like basically play these live games more in silence. Like this move. So like moves like this, I think he's very cognizant of my non-corner or non-enclosure corner. Non-corner enclosure enclosure. Is that what we're gonna call it? The non-corner enclosure enclosure. No, the corner, the non-enclosure corner enclosure. Non-corner enclosure? I think that's probably the best one. Just non-corner enclosure. Uh, is what we're gonna call this one. Oh man. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure if I need that exchange. That might have been bad, but it doesn't feel like the worst thing in the world. Like, killing this is great, but um, you know, in the end, he ended up just getting too much down here. Like, I didn't get another move down here. So big. So big. Play one more move. Right? Like, even... I might even try flirting. When does he play it, actually? Let's figure that out. Here. So, yeah, immediately as soon as I kill this, he, he takes this corner. Um... So another option for this, right, is I, I don't give him all these points. And I imagine he's just going to push up like this. And that's kind of a problem. <laughs> like, very big problem, in fact. Because now I have this group way behind enemy lines. And I just don't know how well I can live with it. Right, so I make moves like this, he's going to play here. Uh, and actually, that doesn't that doesn't threaten to kill. So maybe maybe I'm actually totally fine. <laughs> it looks fine, right? I need to keep that. You can take all these pokes. I don't know. Not so fine. <laughs> really not fine. <laughs> Have to run this way. Mm. But again, maybe that's fine. <laughs> Maybe that's still connected out. So yeah, he can't actually poke out the eyes and block it off. Uh, what else can he do here? Instead of that, he just blocks it off. If I'm gonna move like this. Hmm, maybe. Maybe I can play that way. But it still hurts, right? He still actually gets stuff over here. It's not like I'm getting everything. Actually, that um, this isn't even needed. So he can just come down here. Or better yet, he will Hane. So I make very small, very small. He still can just take all this. It's whole bottom. All right. Yeah. I just didn't have enough. Bummer. 
All right, let me pause the recording for a little bit. Let me see what the robot says. I'll be right back. All right, I am thoroughly depressed now. I bet you guys are just screaming in the comments. Uh, in the game, I totally absentmindedly played a move. I basically passed in the end game. Like, it was a win, at least according to the robot, until I played, and it actually went back and forth twice. But then I got distracted after this whole sequence, and for some reason, I played here. <laughs> it's just minus 53%. The most brutal move in the entire game, right? Like, like that's just not a move. Like, it's not a move. Uh, like, what is that? Uh, this is, this is dumb. <laughs> it's not a move. This play here, black win. Oh, actually, actually, it's so close. What? That doesn't win either? The game just told me it did. What are you doing, game? The game can't decide. Okay. It now thinks that's a one-point win. Uh, but still. <laughs> well, now it's basically tied. Wow. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's, that's t even tighter than I thought, but playing here is just... <laughs> So bad. Um, yeah, so anyway, Robot robot thought it was pretty interesting. We kind of wobbled back and forth. This kill, um, the proper way to kill it here, this is something that's worth showing you guys because I totally fail. Like, I collapse it to the point where there's no code, there's nothing simple to think about, but um, in reality, I don't need to do any of this because even if White just starts taking away liberties, I just play this co. And it's not even a real co because White can never connect the co, like, for White to connect the co. This is dead. So this co is basically mine, right? It, it has to be some really long multi-step co. And that's really hard for white to win. <laughs> you know, a multi-step co with that many steps. So by me, I'm spending liberty here and here and here and eventually here. Like I have to, I spend three more moves rather than just playing a co that white can never win. Um, so anyway, like I, I lost a huge advantage there, like just by not playing this correctly. Um, and understanding, like, how this works is, like, it would take me a minute to think about and actually decide on how this actually should work. And I just didn't. And so there's a little bit of laziness. This move here was really bad. You can see just how this game just sort of goes back and forth. Um, earlier on, I'll show you one of my other bad moves. It was indeed the one I, one of the ones I identified in my little quick review. Um, this one here. Yep, Robot just wants me to continue pushing. And... Uh, the, you can see a little bit of jagged edge here. That's because even now the robot still wants to play this, um, even without su more support from Black. Like robot's like, this is fine. You're totally fine. You're gonna fight. It's gonna be great. However it goes, it's gonna be great. <laughs> um, Black has enough to fight. So I, I just need to cover there. I played very timidly. I played a little too fairly. Um, asked for too little kind of thing. Um, and then one of the other ideas the the game had, or the robot said, this was a bad idea. <laughs> Just play there. Play the shape point. You don't need to push. Um, like, I thought I thought white would push here automatically and get a little bit more of an advantage to cut here, but actually it, it's not that useful for white. Um, so, bad exchange for black. Uh, and then here, yeah, here instead of just dinking around, just back off. <laughs> Let's take this. So I missed some early opportunities, which threw the game towards my opponent. Uh, but let's see other highlight. So we have Bonehead One is is taking the corner when I should just continue taking the outside. Be consistent. Bonehead Two is just not fighting a multi-step code. Instead, trying to actually just win a capturing race, which loses me a sente, essentially. Um, and then here, there's just some bad. This is sort of Bonehead Three. <laughs> uh, totally doesn't actually do much. I thought I was still going to attack this, but because he can link up with one move, because he can poke at my shape and make eyes, I can't really effectively attack this white. Um, so this move just didn't do as much as I thought it would. And so instead I get attacked, right? Like it's very clear now that I'm the one who's under attack um, and this little shoulder hit, not so good. Um, so here we end up sort of in a, in a bad place, but my opponent lets me get back into it uh, because he doesn't cut here. Instead of playing the move that actually works, oops, which is here, <laughs> this one actually works, right? Like, why well, can just have those points? 
uh, my opponent totally boneheads and just tries to cut this way. And then double boneheads, like this is still okay, you can actually still cut. Um, still possible. More difficult now, like black has more options, it's a little risky. Um, but white and white backs off here, it's now a sudden black's game again. Like now I can just fix and kind of be out. And so I get back into it, and then we gotta, of course, review the final major bonehead. One more time. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, there was this this one here the the robot agreed with. Remember, I pointed this out in the review as well, or I mean, even during the game. I think it was during the game. Um, I did lose some initiative here by not playing here and saving the two stones with an eye shape, whatever it was. But again, this is connection. Just we have game winning for black. Now white <laughs> by a lot, <laughs> and by a lot at this point I mean four points. But that's enough because white has all this end game. Uh, and then it just basically stays white after that bonehead. So, um, terrible loss. Like, that one kind of feels bad. But that's what I get for not re- you know, just taking- again, it was a fast timer, and I was trying to actually host a video. Um, and you can see how, yeah, frustrating that is sometimes. Um, just turning this into a caption race rather than a multi-step co. Big, big, just loss of Sente there, I just lost Sente there again. Uh, those two mistakes are- enough to, you know, keep me out of contention for this game. So anyway, uh, lots of sequences were good, actually. A lot of, lot of robot-approved sequences, um, which is always nice to see for both me and my opponent, but, yep, just had <laughs> some ones that were not so robot-approved. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching me lose this one. Uh, it was pretty painful, but <laughs> hopefully you guys got something out of it. Also, actually, why did I play this? Because this is, if I can just play there, and my opponent can never play there, what am I doing? That's a bad move, too. Um, comparatively. Yep, robot says worse. Yeah, oh man, I'm just spotting all the mistakes now. Oh, so painful, I gotta go. Like, I, I have to step away from the board. But anyway, hopefully uh, you're inspired to play some of your own games. So go, go play the non-enclosure corner, and try it out. Let me know how it works in the comments. See you guys. <laughs>